All right, well, we're going to continue Africa. Um, I haven't played this game in about a week. Uh, I've been playing other games in the meantime. I've been playing Mindjack. I actually played Mindjack for an hour yesterday, and it, I had some technical difficulties. I wasn't able to record all of that properly. My microphone wasn't on, so hopefully we won't have any kind of troubles with this playthrough of Africa. I don't want to progress through the game and not properly record it and then it'll kind of look weird when I end up being much further in the game in my next uh, part so hopefully we won't run into any of those snafus so, so we just finished snapping shots of that cheetah. I finished tidying up our equipment. Starting today, I can join you in the field. Interesting. Let's head for Kiboko Swamp. Oh boy. I've, I've heard of this. This is, uh... <laughs> there's water in this. joins us on our safari for the first time. She hasn't done anything this entire time. It's all me. I've been bringing in the, the bacon, the big bucks, the National Geographic points. Oh! <laughs> I'll drive us to Kiboko Swamp, Eric. You just sit back and enjoy the view. Yeah. Looks like James is out of the picture. Take it over. I wonder if she has a camera and we can both snapshots. Dueling cameras. Dueling DSLRs. But I've ooh, I've heard of this Kiboko swamp. We can actually drive the jeep into the actual swamp. The wheels. I actually saw the footage on GameTrailers.com. We have uploaded some videos to Game Trailers. And really have to downgrade the quality of the video to actually allow Game Trailer servers to properly process the video. It really doesn't do this game justice, because the graphics in this game are pretty realistic. And that's, that's what I always look for in a game is, uh, number one, immersion, and number two, immersion in the sense that you really feel like you're in the game, and that's all you can think about when you're in the game, is how are you going to how are you going to work and react in a setting like this? Usually immersion can entail really good gameplay. Ooh, what's this arrow here? The map from the head office shows that Kiboko Swamp is in this direction. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, or it can be in a very good storyline. Be immersed in the storyline. Um. This game doesn't really have a storyline, but it, it does have an entire continent of Africa to explore. So I would say this game is pretty immersive. Number two, I like to look at realism, and this game has realism in spades. In spades. Just by looking at it. So this is Kaboko Swamp. What a wonderful place. It's go closer to the heart. It's just, the videos on game trailers I've seen of Kaboko Swamp, they made it look like uh, <laughs> a Dreamcast game, Sega Bass Fishing. So you really have
have to upload to either have to have an official game trailers workers account or publishers account the ability to upload HD video or you're gonna have to upload to YouTube which allows for 1080p videos hopefully you're watching this in at least 720p or 1080 to really get the full the full spectrum of this game and all the effort that it took to materialize this uh, effort in reality. That climbing shrub is called a water tree. That tree looks like an easy one to climb. Uh, they're introducing climbing mechanics? Climb a tree to conceal yourself from the animals. any animals nearby, so that'll be in a later stage. This is the heart of Kiboko Swamp. It's so much bigger than I imagined. Can you drive for a while? What? Is she scared to drive in this? This area? I I have no idea how to. Okay. <laughs> Let's press R two. Oh yeah. Karongo Flats. These intros they remind me of uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. The way they just fade in like that. I only have to hit R2 once and it's just automatically accelerating. Like, I am not driving the Jeep. Oh, wait. Okay, it slowed down. I said it's just a coasting feature. It's pretty realistic, actually. I feel like I'm driving way too fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. No seatbelts. Reverse. A little bit of a frame rate issue. So I'm just gonna get my mini map. There exactly. Still be undiscovered animals. Let's search carefully. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Get out. Okay. So this looks like some kind of oxen. Reminds me of like a. Oh! Hello. Are you male? Oh my gosh. Get out of here. I don't want to be gored by that thing. That. Oh gosh. Is it chasing me? Yes, it is. What? Oh. There's a lot of vibrating. Hope he's okay. <laughs> of that tauntaun. Keep me warm. I think it looked like a tauntaun. Star Wars. Okay. Well, at least a day has passed. I've, I've been passed out for an entire day with that new email. Our new product is in stock. 
here at uh, Zuri Sana, we take special care in providing only the very best products for our customers working in the field. Today, we would like to present our camping tent. Spend the night in the field and get an early start the next morning. An outdoorsman's, an outdoorsman's best friend. Forty-eight thousand. Wow. Oh, I, I don't have nearly enough. I spent it all on these this photo frame. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Jeez. Can I sell this? No, I can only I can only click on it and admire it. Yes, man. He's like, good luck with the tent. Good luck. Have fun driving, wasting all of this gas, and just uh, polluting Africa on this portrait and denying yourself the ability to purchase a tent, a simple tent that What's around this camp area? Oh my god. I can just I can just walk right across this entire continent with no Jeep. No. James there's no James to Oh wait, here he is. I like my it's like my uncle here. Uncle James. How do I talk to him? Jumbo! Please be sure not to wander too far from the car. Oh, thanks, Uncle. It's like, a, it's like my uh, dad here. Wow, she's already strapped in and ready to go. Alright, let's go. I really didn't pay attention to where she drove me initially. Oh, we're going to jump this cliff. We're going where no James has gone before. <laughs> This jeep can totally get stuck in a dune. <laughs> oh, is this the hippo pool? Yeah. Yeah. Can I run one of these over? These topies? Yeah, I'll never catch one. I'll never- Oh! I just hit one. Watch out. Stay clear of the poor animals. What if I jump off this anthill onto a dopey? And kind of just... <laughs> Alright, this is not Grand Theft Auto 4. Huge dividing dry dune area. I could drive completely around it. I can climb trees now, too. Oops. It's not a pathway. to be in this area. There are no animals here. This is all 
small terrain that I've probably scoured. James, I think he's in the driver's seat. 